I'm Phil Carpenter, a photo and video journalist at the Montreal Gazette. I've been on staff at the Gazette for about seven or eight years, and I also uh, teach at Concordia. I began photography on my own randomly after a breakup uh, in the middle of the desert. I bought myself a small point and shoot camera, and uh, one thing led to another, and I just happened to quit my job as an engineer about uh, nine months ago, and now I'm a full-time photographer. I've been a photographer for a very long time, um, 30 years actually. I've been a freelancer, uh, I've had a darkroom rental facility, I've had a photographic gallery, and these days I just work on my own projects and create books and um, images which I sell in order to sustain my next project. I got into photography uh, first by getting into art. I studied art uh, for my bachelor's degree and I wanted to be a painter but then I realized that photography suited me a lot better. I do both artistic photography and um, fashion photography. I've been a commercial photographer for between 20 and 25 years. I was always interested in advertising and the reason I got into the photography aspect of it is photography's ability to take the everyday ordinary thing and turn it into something extraordinary. When I do photo shoots, I really try to create worlds. I like to make people dream. Uh, anything that's surreal, anything that's complicated, I really like challenges because if it's complicated, it probably means nobody else has done it yet. What inspires my photography, what inspires my work is stories of people. That's what drives what I do, that's what motivates me to do what it is that I do. At the end of the day, photography is always about getting the right moment. And even when a model is perfectly still, there's one moment that's perfect uh, to get the concept across. It's always about getting that one moment that says everything that you want to say. There's certain topics that recur in my work. Uh, one of them is uh, beauty, finding the beauty in things that we usually don't see it. One of the other important elements is uh, social conscience. I'm always working towards the better understanding of uh, gender diversity and why gender equality is so important. I'm always looking for um, the unusual. Um, I'm analyzing, if, depending upon what I'm shooting, you know, what is, why am I here and what is this all about and what is the essence of what I'm trying to capture. A winning photograph in this competition is something that's going to translate the energy and vibrancy of being at Concordia. It's a photo that amplifies how somebody feels when they're present in uh, a moment in what they're looking at. If you really want to make an impact with an image, it has to have something of yourself in, in the image. I don't want to see the obvious. I want to see something that's going to make me really look at it and go like, wow, that's fantastic. That's something I never thought about before. I'm definitely going to be looking forward to seeing what emotions are trying to be conveyed through the photographs. I think photographs are extremely powerful and they tell a story and that's what makes them so exciting. Um, I mean, I've seen technically imperfect photographs that actually have such strong impact because they have depth to them. And uh, really looking forward to see uh, submissions from both the downtown and Loyola campuses. So keep it coming, guys, and uh, good luck.